Uh, hello, this will be a demonstration of Proposition 7 from Book 7 of Euclid's Elements, which says that if a number is the same part of a number, that a number subtracted is of a number subtracted, then the remaining number will be the same part of the remaining number, that the whole number is of the whole number. What we're given is two numbers, um, AB and CD, um, such that AB is some part of CD, and we're going to subtract parts from both of them, such that the number AE, the number subtracted, is the same part of the number subtracted, that is CF, just as the number AB is of the number CD. And what we're going to prove is that the remaining numbers, um, the remaining number is the same part of the remaining number that the whole is of the whole, so we're going to prove that the number EB, which remains from AB um, minus AE, is the same part of the remaining number FD, which is CD minus CF, that the whole AB is of the whole CD. We're going to begin by making a fourth number, or yeah, we're, we're going to begin by making a fourth number in this uh, sequence. We're going to call it CG, and CG will be such that the number AE is the same part of CF, that the number EB is of CG. Now, because the number AE is the same part of the number CF, that the number EB is the number CG, we made the number CG such that it satisfies this relationship. We can say by proposition 7, 5, that the sum will be the same part of the sum, that the one number is of the one number, so that the number AE is the same part of the number CF, that the sum, the number AB, is of the sum, the number GF. But we know then that the number AE is the same part of the number CF, that the number AB is of the number CD. So we can say that both of these, they are equal to the same thing, so they are equal to one another by common notion 1. So that we can say that the number AB is the same part of the number GF, that the number AB is of the number CD, which then means, by a property of numbers, that the number GF and the number CD are just the same number. They are equal to each other. And so this being so, that the number GF is equal to the number CD, we can subtract the same number from both of them, and by common notion 3, we'll get equals. So we're going to subtract the number CF from both of them, so that we can say that the number GC is equal to the number FD. Now, remember that the number AE is the same part of the number CF, that EB is of CG, but we've just shown that the number CG is equal to the number FD, so we're going to substitute it in now by a property of numbers, and say that the number AE is the same part of the number CF, that the number EB is of the number FD, but we, we were given that the number AB is the same part of the number CD, that the number AE is of the number CF, so we have two... Um, yeah, we have two things which are equal to the same thing, common notion 1, that are equal to each other. So that the number EB is the same part of the number FD that the number AB is of the number CD. And this is precisely what we set out to prove, which means we are done with the proposition, therefore, etc., QED. Now, an example of this would be um, like saying that uh, 5 is the same part of 15, that 3 is of 9, namely 1 third. So 5 minus 3 will be the same part of 15 minus 9 that, for example, 5 is of 15. 5 minus 3 is 2. 15 minus 9 is 6. So 2 is the same part of 6 that 5 is of 15. And this is obviously true. 2 and 5 are both 1 third of 6 and 15 respectively. So we see that this proposition uh, checks out with a particular example. That's all I've got to say about this proposition, so I'll end the video here and move on to Proposition 7-8.